G'day folks, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid, and today we're going to talk about recovery speed. What is it, and why you would change it? What does recovery speed actually do? It alters how quickly the detector responds from one target to the next. The recovery speed on the Equinox 800 goes from 1 up to 8, and increasing the speed allows you to differentiate between targets that are really close together. But something that you need to keep in mind is that increasing the recovery speed can reduce the ID accuracy of targets and it also will reduce your detecting depth. As a rule of thumb, if you were out in an area that there were very sparse targets uh, it was a nice clear spot. You would probably drop your recovery speed from one through to three. That will give you really, really good soil penetration. And if there aren't very many targets, well, it's, it's gonna ring out when you run over something. If you were in an area where there are more targets, you would be somewhere between the four and six range. This is where most of the factory presets uh, are set, and that's just your normal detecting area where there'll be a target here, a target there, maybe a couple close by, but you'll, you'll differentiate between them. But if you were in a really, really trashy site, seven, eight is probably what you want. Now, when I say a really trashy site, I myself, when I'm out detecting on a rubbish dump, will now put it into eight for my recovery speed. It gives you really sharp identification that, oh, you've just run over four targets, all really, really close together, but you can just differentiate between them and go, yeah, that 16, I reckon, is a post 46 threepence, and you'll be able to dig it up and find out what is there. Another thing with setting the uh, recovery speed up to eight is that you lose that depth penetration. But as I say, I use it in a trashy site and realistically, you don't want major depth in a rubbish pile. You know, it's, it's hard enough digging in one already as to try and get down meters into it. You just want shallow, sharp pinpointing. But let's go have a look at what it all looks like on the dashboard. Well, here we are on the dashboard of the Equinox 800. And if we go into the menu and change, see this coming over, we want to go right over to the last one. That's our recovery speed. You can see that currently I'm in five. That's the general purpose, just normal detecting uh, setting. But if you want to change it, you either use the minus or the plus sign. So if we take it right back to, to one, so one through to three is if you're in a very quiet ground and you wanna have good uh, soil penetration and you're looking for those deeper signals and there's not many around, good setting to use. The general purpose, we're up into four, five and six. And that's where most of the settings are uh, on the preset for the Equinox. And that, that's a really good setting to be in. If you start getting into the trashy sites, keep hitting that plus button up into seven or eight. And it makes those little signals really, really sharp and distinguished. Well, that's been a look at the dashboard and how to change your recovery speed on it. Let's look at a drawing as to what it sort of means in the ground for when you're detecting. So let's say we had a screw in the ground and we also had a coin that was uh, very, very close to it. I'll just do this. Right, if we were in one to three, you would end up having a large signal for the screw or the 
ferrous item, and you'll have another target for the $2 coin. But you'll see that the uh, screw, the ferrous uh, target, will actually mask the non-ferrous target. And that's not particularly what you want, but if you were in a field where there was bugger all targets, you would dig it anyway just to see what it was. So that is the one to three. If we set the recovery speed on four to six, you end up getting a shorter uh, ferrous target signal and you will start to get the $2 coin there, it'll start to break through. You'll know something's there, but there will still be slightly partial masking if the targets are really, really close. Now the third one is if we changed our recovery speed seven to eight, where the screw is, we will get a small, a, a very specific target. Where the $2 coin is, we'll get a very sharp one as well. You'll be able to differentiate between the two targets in the ground, but you will have less soil penetration. That's the theory behind the recovery speed in your detector. But uh, what you should probably do is go home, find a nice clear patch of ground and play with the settings yourself. Get a, a really nice feel for it and be confident in that, yeah, I'm in this situation, I should use these settings or I'm in this situation and I reckon I'll give those a bit of a go. So if you are out on a site where you reckon there should be just a little bit more potential than what you're finding, it might do you well to change your recovery speed and see how you go. You just might be surprised at what you find. I'm the Coffee Bush Kid, and this has been a top tip for the Mind Lab Show.